getting jokes out of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to cast out those demons that are keeping her from getting a husband. Tonight, the very funny lady who's becoming a big star with her Christian comedy. And I read the Bible, and Eve did not have a job, you know. Her controversial mission to bring prayer to Hollywood. Carrie Pomeroli is one of the most successful Christian entertainers in Hollywood. She's also the author of If I'm Waiting on God, Then What Am I Doing in a Christian Chat Room? Carrie Pomeroli joins me now. Hi, Carrie. Welcome. Hey, how are you? Doing well. Thank Good you. Good to now, be here. You know, just a short time ago, Carrie, you saw the Mel Gibson interview with Diane Sawyer. He talked about having to apologize repeatedly to fans, friends, family for his behavior. Uh, you know, what do you think about it? Will people accept his apology and forgive him? Do you think people are going to buy it? You know, uh, it's my job to come on your show as a Christian and walk the walk that I'm called to walk, which is we have to forgive if somebody asks for repentance. Now, each person out there in Hollywood and the world can make their own decisions whether they want to forgive Mel for the hurtful comments that he made. But I'm personally going to make the decision that um, he seemed very repentant on TV. And I hope that uh, we can find it in our hearts to forgive him because I do. He's clearly trying to rehabilitate his image. He does want to continue to be successful in the industry, make more movies, be able to release them. Carrie, what do you think about the Hollywood community? I know you're planning to forgive him, but do you think the Hollywood community as a whole will embrace him again? You know, there's been people like Jodie Foster and Patrick Swayze and some other friends of Mel that have actually come out and supported him. And I mean, I know that Hollywood in general, we love to tear people down and then build them back up. We love drama. We love a good story. And so I'm going to be interested to see what happens. But I mean, I've seen the cycle many times we all have in Hollywood before. Um, you know, basically when somebody makes a mistake, Hollywood can be a very embracing community. And I hope that they don't make an exception when it comes to Mel Gibson. Okay, I want to talk about faith-based entertainment. Despite the enormous success, Carrie, of Passion of the Christ, the Chronicles of Narnia, right. uh, television shows like Seventh Heaven, clearly there is right. an appetite out there for faith-based entertainment. But despite all yes. of that, do you think Hollywood is doing enough? Well, you know, we're very trendy right now. Christianity is very in. We're like the new Kabbalah. <laughs> so um, I'm just waiting for Madonna to make a movie about us. And um, no, it's I, I do think that the tide is turning. I mean, when we had a meeting of all the Christians in Hollywood, there was four people that showed up. And um, that was, you know, kind of fun. And I married one of them. But um, the thing is, as a comedian, it's my job to just go out and be who I am. And I am a Christian. And now I've seen the tide turning since I've started doing comedy that basically now now studios are coming and saying, we want to talk about your book. We want to talk about your message. Because look, here's the thing. 80% of our country is professing to have some sort of Christian faith. We're not buying booze. We're not buying drugs. We're buying movie tickets and video rentals. And I think Hollywood is finally starting to go, hmm, this is an interesting thing to tap into. Let's see what we can do, you know? So I think it's kind of fun and exciting. And I love, I love being on the ride. I love that you say you married um, one of the four people at that meeting. <laughs> but Carrie, I did. Well, I was in. I was in ministry, though. I was doing JFK Jews for Carrie, and I was dating all these really good-looking <laughs> Jewish boys with 401k plans. But um, you know, when I gave them a Bible, and they were like, "I only put part one," I was like, "You know, for the sake of uh, you know reading both parts of the Bible, I'm going to marry the other Christian guy in Hollywood, <laughs> and he's also a comedian. So it's great for my act." Well, Carrie, it's inspiring that you're not afraid to share your beliefs and to encourage others. Carrie Pomeroli, thanks so much for being here and sharing your, you. uh, your insight, your perspective. And her book, If I'm Waiting on God, Then Why Am I in a Christian Chat Room, is in stores now.